Welcome to American Patriot News. I'm Romeo. So I have a story tonight. I mean, it's hard to even believe Obama, Bush, and Clinton are running an NGO to bring in migrants. And just so we're all on the same page, define NGO. Here's the definition of NGO, a nonprofit organization that operates independently of any government, typically one whose purpose is to address a social or political issue. Okay, so there it is. Obama, Bush, and Clinton have started an NGO to fly migrants into the U.S. The new NGO is reportedly teaming up with Welcome.us to raise money for migrants from Cuba, Haiti, Venezuela, Ukraine, Nicaragua to be flown into communities across the country. American Express Global Business Travel and Welcome. U.S. have reportedly teamed up with former Presidents Obama, Clinton, and Bush, non-NGO, called Miles for Migrants, to fly migrants to communities across the U.S. Welcome.us is an NGO that was initially launched to work with President Joe Biden's administration to facilitate some of the 85,000 Afghans who came into the U.S. in 2021 and 2 after the debacle created when the U.S. evacuated from Afghanistan, according to Breitbart. Welcome.us is also linked to billionaire George Soros' Open Society Foundation through some of his board members sitting on their National Welcome Council. Now, Miles for Migrants and American Express Global Business Travel are reportedly teaming up with Welcome.us to raise money for migrants from Cuba, Haiti, Haiti, Venezuela, Ukraine, and Nicaragua to be flown into communities across the country. Donations are needed to fund the flights for newcomers. To travel to the United States, the initiative's webpage reads, those forced to flee often leave behind all but what they can carry, and the costs of international travel can be prohibitive, the webpage continues. Welcome Connect Travel removes the cost of travel as a barrier for both sponsors in the, in the United States and displaced families. They're supporting through humanitarian sponsorship. According to Senator Ron Johnson, that's my senator here in Wisconsin, I love him, comments in the hearing earlier this week, roughly 5 million illegal immigrants have entered the United States since Biden took office in 2021. Charlotte Hazard is a reporter at Just the News. All right, so that's the end of the article. I'm sorry there. I'm literally so stunned by what I'm hearing that I'm ready to explode. So we've got the Obamas, the Clintons colluding together with the Bushes and bringing in migrants from all around the world who are subverting our legal immigration policy. Look, that's a fact. You come in through a port of entry. That This is insanity. I watch Monkey Works. I've been, for anybody who don't know, he is a wonderful channel. He is a huge source of information on YouTube here. He tracks everything military that transponds while flying for the last two plus decades, right? He's a pro. He's been tracking all these flights coming into Biggs Army and everywhere else that they're bringing immigrants. Uh, they're subcontracting, you know, Coletta Air and just a bunch of different ones. The point is that five to seven million number if anything, in my opinion, is low, but if it, it's at least five to seven million, okay? That changes the electorate. It's time to stop being quiet about these things. It's time to get on the phone to our representatives and demand change. That's what I think. What they're doing isn't right, not by any measure.
It's not legal, period. It's illegal. Anyway, I'm sorry that I'm so passionate about this. I don't mean to put anybody off. It's just that when you get these coyotes and the border and the cartels are running these rackets and women and children are paying the price and I don't like it. In fact, it really makes me angry. Uh, I don't like to see women and children being abused in any way and I wish there were a way I could personally stop it. Guys, Matt and I will continue to bring you the news as it happens. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend.